One of the most important factors in choosing a fabric for your sewing project is the stretch factor. Understanding the stretch factor and the percentage your fabric stretches helps you determine if you have the right amount of wearing ease or negative ease in your garments. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what the stretch factor is, how to measure it in percentage, and I'll talk about the difference between a two-way stretch and a four-way stretch. Plus, I'm going to be giving you a free stretch factor ruler that you can download in the description below. Let's get right into this. So what is the stretch factor and is it the same thing as the stretch percentage? Well, the stretch factor is usually labeled in terms. For example, minimum stretch, moderate stretch, or high stretch. The stretch percentage, that's the amount that the fabric physically stretches. So usually there's a little bit of a range for each stretch factor. For example, a minimal stretch fabric stretches between 11% and 25%. Now you're going to be able to download the ruler which tells you exactly which percentages are which stretch factor. So make sure you download that in the link below. The number one driving characteristic in fabrics is the stretch factor in determining the correct amount of negative ease in your garments. A stretch factor test should be conducted before choosing the fabric for the project. I highly recommend doing this stretch test I'm about to show you so that you can document for both knits and wovens the stretch factor and the percentage. Documenting this information is really going to help you in the long run in determining those negative ease amounts and wearing ease amounts. I'm going to show you how to do the stretch test now. For this example, I'm using the free rulers found in the description link below. Make sure you download this free fabric stretch guide and you can print it out 100% to scale. And when you're taping the pages together, just make sure that that ruler is matching up to your measuring tape. You can always refer back to these steps on the first page for how to do this. So we have the width of our fabric, which goes from one selvage or end of the fabric where the, it connects to the loom to the other side. So this is the horizontal and this is the vertical. So the first thing we're going to check is the horizontal stretch. So we're going to slightly further away from the edge of the fabric, place our pins. And if you're using inches, you'll place a pin at zero and 10. And if you're using centimeters, you'll place a pin at zero and 20. So I'm gonna just fold back that fabric, place a pin at each position, zero and 10. Now I want to grasp that fabric. I don't want to grasp it close to the edge that will give a false reading. And when I do grasp it, I want to grasp as much as I can with my thumbs and with the back of my hands. I don't want to do it like this. If you're doing it just thumb to finger, that's also going to give a false reading. So let's grasp as much as we can from one edge of the pin to the other edge. We're going to hold the zero position down and we're going to stretch the other end as far as it wants to go. You don't wanna force it too far, but as much as it kinda of stops stretching, that's the amount we're going for. So in this case, I am right around 23, 24%, which gives me a minimal stretch percentage. I would document that information down as a reference for the fabric and the sewing project. The next thing you wanna do is repeat that same exact step for the vertical length. So you would, for instance, in centimeters, we would go further away from the selvage. We don't wanna to be too close to that selvage. Going to fold the fabric back a little bit. Zero and 20. And whether you're using inches or centimeters, you're going to always do the measurements for both horizontal and vertically with the same unit of measurements. 
You can see here it's not stretching quite as much here. I would place my nail down and I am around 18%. So we're looking at the percentage on the ruler. We're not looking at the measurement so much. This would also fall in minimal stretch. Why is the fabric stretch so important in sewing? The more the fabric stretches, the higher the negative ease amount can be because the fabric stretches and that stretch will fit onto the body. In case you're not sure what negative ease is, you can tune in to the next video that's gonna pop up on the screen at the end of this video. There are a few other fabric characteristics that are really important in assessing garment ease. I go through those other fabric characteristics in a free webinar called Mastering Garment Ease. You can sign up for that webinar through the link in the description below. By studying those fabric characteristics, you can determine if you have the correct garment ease in your patterns before you cut and sew those fitting samples. This is actually a really long topic and I go into a lot of depth in the online course I teach about mastering garment ease. The next thing I wanna discuss is what the difference is between a two-way and a four-way fabric stretch. Well, a two-way stretch always stretches horizontally, going in both directions horizontally, which I know it sounds silly because a lot of people think a two-way stretch goes this way and this way, but that is actually a four-way stretch. Now, this is a great example of a four-way. So you can see here we have a horizontal stretch and we have a vertical stretch. So this is considered a four-way stretch. I'm Gina Renee and I teach online pattern making courses so that you can design and create the clothes you love that fit. If you want to learn more about this topic, I highly recommend that you join that free webinar through the link in the description below.